In this video, I'm doing a position analysis for an early game position. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. My book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is now available. There's a link in the description below where you can buy it. I am offering lessons. If you're interested, please email me. My email address is in the uh, in the description below. So this is a position from an early game. So this was the opening position for here. Uh, and white rolled a 4-3 and played like this, resulting in this position. Then blue rolled a 6-1, playing like this, resulting in this position. And then white rolled a 2-1, moving the back checker up, resulting in this position, making the anchor. Now, blue has a 6-1 to play. So take a look at this. Think about how you would play the 6-1. Pause the video, and then we'll look at the analysis. OK, so let's look at the analysis. Here, it turns out that the best play is to split the back checkers with 24 to 18 and slot the five point like this. And that results in this position. To a lot of beginners and intermediates, this actually looks very strange because why would you split here uh, coming under the under the gun here, uh, under fire, uh, white can hit with sixes, twos, and ones here, and then leaving a blot right here in your board. The natural play is to just bring a checker down safely from the midpoint to the seven point and splitting the back checkers looking like this. So if you look at the correct play, there are a few features of this. Uh, first of all, uh, your opponent has an advanced anchor. When your opponent has an advanced anchor, it becomes increasingly important for you to make an advanced anchor. So that's what this does. You split to the advanced anchor where you want to make. If you split to here, you don't really want to make the 23-point anchor. It does give you more rolls like 4-3 and 3-2 to make one of the upper anchors, and even 6-5 uh, to make the 20, 21, or 18. But when you have it here, direct sixes, that's much easier to make the advanced anchor. The second thing is it unstacks the six point. Uh, there are basically three major liabilities in the opening position. The first is having two checkers back. And then the second two are the big stacks on the midpoint and on the six point. It's harder to unstack checkers from the six point than the midpoint because you cannot play sixes from uh, the six point from the opening position. And if you play large numbers like five and four, they go too deep. So it's often very valuable to unstack the six point with aces. The other thing you want to do is leave blots in front of points you want your opponent to give up. So this is a valuable anchor. Your opponent does not want to break this anchor uh, to hit. You also duplicate the ones or the aces. So ones can be used to hit here, or they can be used to hit here in, in the case of, for example, a 2-1 or a 6-1. And ones can also be used to make the five point in the case of a 3-1 or a 4-1. So you're duplicating numbers. And then you want to diversify your own numbers. So you want to make your numbers for your next roll better. So after this, sixes play nicely to make that advanced anchor. Fives can safety this checker and ones can cover the blot, whereas they cannot do it otherwise. This is how the two plays compare. Um, after making play A the correct play, um, this is how white's rolls play. Um, and otherwise, it would look like this. You see how 3-1 and 4-3 would have made the five point, whereas uh, after play A, you cannot make the five point. And here, after making the five point, uh, you're already split to the advanced anchor, so the five point is not as valuable. And this is the second roll, equity heat maps. So this is how blues plays uh, play 
on their on his next roll after white plays, after the top play on the upper left, after the natural play on the upper right, and the difference on the lower left and the histogram shows the difference here. So you can see all the ones and the twos and the fours play better. So for example, five one four one three one, and if you look at this. With a 5-1, you can make that anchor. With a 4-1, you can escape. With other ones, you can uh, uh, make this point. So the tips for an early game to learn from this position are anytime your opponent has an advanced anchor, you want to counter it with an advanced anchor of your own. Try to unstack the six point. These are called mountains by Michihito Kageyama in opening concepts. Anytime you have more than four checkers, it's a heavy point. You don't want to have more than four checkers on a single point. You want to unstack those. Uh, and again, the six point is the hardest point to unstack from the opening position, uh, harder than the midpoint. Uh, you want to leave blots in front of points your opponent does not want to leave. You want to try to duplicate your opponent's numbers and diversify your own numbers. So that was the position analysis from an early game position. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. My book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is now available. There's a link in the description to where you can purchase it. I am offering lessons. If you're interested, please email me. My email is in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then, keep rolling your dice.